and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today's video is super exciting. I'm so excited to start decorating for Christmas. So today's video is going to be a clean and decorate with me. I just finished pulling all of my Christmas decorations down from the attic and that was a mission in itself. I feel like I had a great workout pulling everything down. My husband usually is the one who pulls everything down from the attic, but when he was playing um, football the other day, he injured his arm. His arm was pretty much in a sling, so he can't lift anything heavy. So I had to pull everything down on my own, and I feel like I'm super late to the game compared to everyone else. Everyone has already put up their Christmas decorations and got up their video. I'm just now doing it. But for me, honestly, this is early for me. I usually don't put up my Christmas decorations until Thanksgiving day. So it is a week earlier than I usually do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start decorating. So if you guys have not gotten up your Christmas decor, then I would love for you to go ahead and decorate along with me. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna start off by just cleaning up a little bit around the house. I'm not gonna be doing any type of like deep cleaning, but I did wanna straighten up a few things, wipe down the kitchen counters and put away some dishes that were in the dishwasher that needed to be put away. I think I also had a few dishes in the sink I wanted to go ahead and clean up. So I'm just gonna do a quick tidy up before I start decorating. To wipe down all of my kitchen counters, I'll be using the new Mrs. Meyers Holiday Scent in Snowdrop. If you guys have not gotten your hands on this scent or smelled it, you definitely need to. It smells so good. I am obsessed. I bought the complete set from Target. I need to go out and buy some more because I use it every single day. So it is running pretty low, but it smells really good. And I'm just going to be using all of that with a microfiber cloth to quickly wipe down the counters. And now for the fun part to start decorating. So I have these Christmas kitchen towels I bought last year from the Target's dollar spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my oven and then I will move on to different areas in the house. I'm starting off in the kitchen as you guys can see. A few of these items are new things that I just bought this year from the Target's dollar spot and everything else is pretty much things that I have collected over the years. I would love to buy a lot of Christmas decor because I'm starting to get more into like neutral colors for all holidays and and a lot of my stuff is just traditional colors, but I'm going to keep what I have now. I have bought a lot of things that are neutral colors um, last year and this year. So I'm going to start making a little collection. So I do have a few pops of just the traditional Christmas colors, but for the most part, I'm trying to stick to more neutral colors. So right now I am just trying to put some of these twinkling lights and I kept on knocking down those little faux Christmas trees, but I was able to go ahead and get that. So I'm just going to decorate and and probably move things around a million of times so you guys can just watch while I go ahead and decorate.
of course, I did have to have a Hallmark Christmas movie playing while I was decorating. So I usually will listen to music or I will have a Christmas movie on and this day I decided to put on the Hallmark channel and I did get distracted a few times watching it, but I love the Hallmark channel this time of year. Here you see me putting this pre-lit garland on my fireplace. I bought probably like five packs of these maybe two years ago from Walmart once all of their Christmas stuff went on clearance once the holidays were over and I'm so glad I did. I saved so much money buying it after the holidays and the previous years I just never had a pre -lit garland and I've always loved them so I was so happy to get my hands on those they were originally like 15 or 20 dollars and I got them for maybe six bucks each now I have moved on to my bathroom I only had a few little knickknacks I wanted to go ahead and put in there and then now I am doing my staircase so I'll be wrapping my entire staircase with the pre -lit garland that I told you guys I bought from Walmart All right, you guys so it is currently the next day i didn't have time to finish putting up all my christmas decor yesterday because i did have to run out and get the kids from school so it is pretty late right now it is almost six o'clock but i'm just now going to put up the christmas tree it's laying right there so i'm gonna go ahead and put the christmas tree up and then i'm gonna have the kids help me put the ornaments on or at least have ryan help me put the ornaments on and that then that'll complete my um christmas decorate with me i also have some placemats i'm gonna put on my dining room table as well but other than that everything else is done i just need to go ahead and do the christmas tree and dining room table but i don't really have much for the dining room table other than i think a candle and some placemats so i'm gonna go ahead and finish up this christmas clean and decorate with me so now that it is the next day, it is time to put up our Christmas tree. As you guys can see, my son Ryan was super excited for the tree. He loves to help me decorate it. This is a pre-lit tree, so we didn't have to put the lights on, but we did have to put the ornaments on. I didn't have Madison help just because she does not care about putting ornaments on the trees. She loves the Christmas tree as far as like looking at the different lights and also, of course, pulling off all of my ornaments. But as far as helping to decorate it, she can care less. So she didn't help, but Ryan did and he had a fun time decorating the tree with me.
And now I am trying to put the Christmas tree topper, the star on top of the tree. I thought it was tall enough to reach without getting a chair, but obviously I wasn't. So I had to grab a chair really quickly to put the star on top of the tree. And now I pulled out all of the Christmas ornaments and we're going to start putting all the ornaments on the tree. I love the ornaments that the kids make me. I have one that Ryan made me when he was in preschool and it's one of my favorite ones. It has his handprint on it and he also painted it. I also have two um, ornaments of the kids' handprints when they were babies, like their first ever Christmas. And I'm so sad because Madison's actually broke like in three pieces. And I tried my best to glue it back together because it's the only ornament that I have of hers that has her handprint. So it looks a little damaged and it doesn't look the best, but I don't care. I was able to glue it back together and I put that on the tree as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and decorate the tree. I try not to put too many ornaments towards the bottom because Madison will pull them off. Although they are not glass, she still will chuck them across the house and like put it in her mouth. So I try to not put a lot of ornaments in the bottom and focus on like the middle and the top. And then I completely forgot about this Christmas tray that I had that I had bought from, I think, Hobby Lobby a few years ago. So I went ahead and put that on my coffee table in the living room. I didn't have really many Christmas decor items left, so I was trying my best to make it as cute as possible. And the last area I'm gonna be decorating is my dining room table. And honestly, I didn't have much for my dining room table other than some placemats. And then I put some Christmas bulbs in that little vase. And then I think I had like a little reindeer and that is it for my dining room table. And now it is time to quickly vacuum up my living room from all of like the glitter and stuff that fell off of all of my Christmas decorations. There was glitter everywhere and also some dust. So I wanted to quickly go ahead and vacuum all of that up. And here is a little sneak peek on my Christmas tour that I have up for 2019. If you guys want to see a full house tour, I will have a full Christmas house tour up tomorrow morning. 
All right, you guys, so that is going to end my Christmas clean and decorate with me. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me while I cleaned up my house and also decorated this year for Christmas. I am so excited for the holidays and I'm really glad that I decided to go ahead and decorate a little bit earlier because the longer I can have my decorations, the happier it makes me. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.